forget 48 megapixels, forget 64 megapixels, this is the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 with a 108 megapixel camera. It felt like only yesterday we were introduced to the first ever 64 megapixel camera, but it looks like we're forgetting about that as well uh, because we are pivoting to 108. So we got the smartphone a bit earlier thanks to Xiaomi. The phone was launched earlier today. The price is down below. At the time of recording, we don't know how much it is. And this will be an unboxing of this brand new device. Okay, let's get started. The box is very clean, very premium feeling. And it's very heavy. Off with the cover. And this is the phone itself. We will get to that later and let's see what else is inside the box first. In here should be your case as well as your documents. But let's double confirm. Yep, your case. Uh, we'll get to this later as well and as well as your warranty card and all that. Okay, so I'm gonna try and take this out as easily as I can. Okay, so there you go. This is your 30 watt charger. This is the China set, very obviously. Um, the one that comes here should be a 3 pin connector. And this is your USB charging cable. Very standard. Alright, so the main course, the phone, let's take off the plastic. Easily. Let's get this aside. Alright, so this is the main course, this is the phone. Now I know you want to get a look at the camera samples, the photo samples straight away because of its 108 megapixel camera. But let's get everything out of the way first. Now this is a 6.47 inch phone. It has a 1080p AMOLED display with curved edges. It's not as crazy as the Vivo Next 3 kind of waterfall display, but this kind of reminds me a bit of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. And looking at the back, it's glass. Uh, at this point, it's already got a lot of fingerprints. On the side, it's aluminum. So it, it looks great, it feels great, but it's a bit thick. But I can't deny it really feels premium. So let's power up the phone and see what is inside. Now, powering this phone is a Snapdragon 730G with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. This runs on MIUI 11 on Android 9, not Android 10 yet. And I'm looking at the display and it looks fabulous. This is one of the best displays I've seen on phones this year, uh, especially on an upper mid-range smartphone as well. Now, the reason why this phone is so chunky, it's so thick, is because it has a 5260mAh battery that charges via USB-C of up to 30 watts of fast charge. So, you don't have to worry about waiting too long to charge it. Now, we've come to the main point of the Xiaomi Mi Note 10, which is the camera setup. It has five lenses. The main one is, of course, the 108MP camera, which uses the Samsung Bright Isocell HMX sensor. It's coupled with two telephoto lenses, one 12 megapixel. This is for your portrait shots at two times zoom. And a five megapixel telephoto lens, this is for your regular zooming. It zooms up to five times optical and 50 times digital. It is also equipped with a 20 megapixel ultra wide lens and a two megapixel macro lens. So that makes up your five penta lens setup for the Xiaomi Mi Note 10. Now looking at the images that I just took, uh, the regular 27 megapixel mode is sharp enough, it's quite it's your standard affair. And colours can be a bit oversaturated, I have AI scene recognition turned on. Um, the grass does look a bit too dark, and but the sky does look balanced. Overall, it's a great picture, very sharp indeed. But when, then, when you go to the 108 megapixel mode, you see a world of difference. You can zoom in for days and it retains its details. Right now, I'm on maximum zoom and I'm looking at the grass and it looks really sharp. I see bits of brushes, patches of grass, if you will, and it looks fine. Now, if I were to compare it to the regular 27 megapixel mode, and I zoom in that far, it starts to get a little grainy, especially when you zoom in on the same exact spot. So the 108 mode actually works. And the press release that Xiaomi sent us says that you can export images raw in raw format of up to 27 megapixels. So which is fine for normal photo editing, but if you really want it to be super sharp, you can actually get it with 108 megapixels. So for once, a higher megapixel count on a smartphone actually makes a difference. I'd, I've never really seen that much of a difference on 48 megapixel. On 64, maybe a little. But on 108, yes, you definitely do see it. I can't wait to export this to a PC and really take a look at the image itself and uh, yeah, see if it's worth it or not. Now, other things about the cameras is the telephoto lens. 
it zooms in up to five times optical and I'm looking at it and yes, it retains details quite well. And when you zoom in to 50 times with the digital, yes, you lose detail a little bit as expected of telephoto lens, but this phone is equipped with two OIS sensors with double OIS and it didn't take a lot of effort to steady the camera and shoot. It was quite simple. You're, you're still gonna use two hands, but the technology definitely helps here. It's December, it's the end of 2019, and we've seen 48 megapixel become the standard. We've seen 64 megapixel come out just two months ago. We have a handful of smartphones that have that resolution. And Xiaomi decides to end the year with the world's first 108 megapixel smartphone. Now I'm thinking this will be a standard for 2020 or 2021 and Xiaomi is just an early bird. Now I'm thinking with this out now, should you just forego 64 megapixel? If you really like photography and you like editing, yes, just go for the 108, otherwise just stick with 48. There's really no reason to go for 64, especially since there are only a handful of small smartphones that have 64. So that's it for the unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi Note 10. Stay tuned for a review where we really test out the 108 megapixel camera. The price for the phone is in the description below. Do check it out. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. And this is Victor signing off. Bye-bye.